it's amazing how far you can go on all these little paths and how many local people don't know where they all are so it's really quite a, a treat to walk on these paths and uh, get off the main roads and just enjoy the countryside. Guernsey fields are really quite small. The land originally was open plan during the feudal system where the Lord of the Manor, the Seigneur, owned the land and he divided the strips, the land into strips for the tenant farmers. And then about 400 years ago, this land was enclosed and hedge banks made of soil and granite were built all around the, head, the fields. Um, and traditionally they were planted with blackthorn or gorse. And you can see perhaps in the distance, the white blossom of the blackthorn. And these, uh, the blackthorn and the gorse were used, uh, cut triannually to be used as fuel in the furze ovens, these special brick-lined ovens alongside the fireplace in farmhouses where the furze was dried and then burnt and the heat retained in the bricks was used to cook their food. Now here you can see some bachins. These were uh, lovely big uh, brass bowls that were used on the farm. And this little building stuck on the end of the gable is actually an external furze oven. Most of the buildings had the furze oven inside the farmhouse, but this one was obviously just tagged on.